We explain, semantic memory. The concept of semantic memory is fairly new. It was first introduced in 1972 by psychologist and neuroscientist Tendhal Tulving. Tulving distinguished between episodic memory and semantic memory. He noted that episodic memory and semantic memory differ in how they operate. They also differ in the types of information they process. Episodic memory is the ability to consciously recollect previous experiences from memory, for example recalling a trip to Disney World. It is the recollection of experiences and specific events. Other examples of episodic memory are, 1. Recalling when you got your first dog. 2. Knowing about a specific accident with a pair of scissors. 3. Reminiscing about cutting the grass. 4. Remembering your wedding day. Semantic memory is long-term memory that stores ideas and concepts that are not necessarily drawn from personal experience. It is the ability to store common knowledge, for example knowing the fact that Disney World is in Florida. Other examples of semantic memory are, 1. Distinguishing between different dog breeds. 2. Knowing how to use scissors. 3. Knowing that grass is green. 4. Knowing what a wedding is. Semantic memory is vital in helping us to understand the meanings of words, as well as knowing facts about the world. In short, it helps us to make sense of the world around us. There is typically a gradual transition from episodic memory to semantic memory. The information is stored as general knowledge and may be recalled subconsciously. That does not mean that all semantic memories begin as episodic memories. Semantic memory is learnt, either through an experience or through observation. And because mere observation will expand your semantic memory store, Watching video material will undoubtedly enhance your semantic memory.